Hi, I'm Kyle Richards and for Sarah Gore and this is Open House. This week we're bringing you the best of waterside living. You'll soak in the breathtaking ocean views from this one-of-a-kind compound in Malibu. Experience a seaside retreat in the Hamptons. Plus, we're touring a rare and remarkable island chain in the Long Island Sound. But first, it's lakeside living in a modern home in New York. The atrium opens up in the warmer weather with doors that fold back and a sliding glass wall. And with a view like this, you're going to be spending a lot of time outside. Hello everyone. It's such a pleasure to be stepping in for Sarah Gore while she's out on maternity leave. Most of you know me from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills but I'm just as excited about my new project, American Woman. It's a scripted TV series inspired by my life growing up in LA in the 70s. I'm incredibly proud of the show and the entire cast. It's out next year, so look out for more details. Right now, I'm coming to you from an architectural masterpiece in Beverly Hills. This home showcases one of the best things about living in the West Coast, indoor, outdoor living. The design blurs the lines between interior and exterior spaces to take full advantage of the views from just about every room. Inside this modern gem, you'll find high-end finishes throughout, from the chef's kitchen to the master suite. And outside, there's over 3,000 square feet of entertaining patios on multiple levels with an outdoor kitchen, pool, and spa. This stunning estate is the epitome of the luxury California lifestyle. Now let's get started in Bedford, New York, which is about an hour away from Manhattan. This home takes the idea of lake living to new heights. It features over 250 feet of lake frontage and your own private dock. And you can take in those water views through the floor to ceiling windows. There's so much more to see. Take a look. Hi, welcome to Swallow Lake. I'm David Turner from Houlihan Lawrence. We are here in Bucolic Bedford at this fabulous property. The house was built in 2007, and it is a tour de force of modern contemporary architecture and set directly on Swallow Lake. I can't wait to show you the house. Come on inside. The house was inspired by the owner's visits to the Caribbean. The atrium opens up in the warmer weather with doors that fold back and a sliding glass wall. And with a view like this, you're going to be spending a lot of time outside. Elevated Terrace is 85 feet long and provides a breathtaking view of the lake and the property. Swallow is a 20-acre freshwater lake. The lake is all privately owned with only 10 houses. But from here, you might as well be the only house in the world because no other houses are in view. There's a lot more to see outside, but let me show you the inside first. And my favorite part of the open atrium are these sliding screen doors. They let the air in, but they keep the bugs out. The living room is just fabulous. I love it. It's beautifully furnished. It has three exposures to the outside with a view of the lake, and it's a great place to just hang out. The walls are limestone. 60 tons were brought here from a main quarry. The room is finished with glass cloth walls and elegant cove lighting. As much as I like hanging out in here, I got a lot more to show you. I just love the hallways in the house. They connect the two wings and they all have these beautiful Chinese granite radiant heated floors. The kitchen is an open concept with custom cabinetry Caesar stone counters, and a sink that of course faces the lake. And the breakfast table is perfectly positioned to take advantage of the abundant light that comes through these floor to ceiling windows. All the first floor rooms have doors to the outside, but let me take you upstairs. The house is four bedrooms, and this is the master. It's simple, elegant, and comfortable, with two exposures to the outside and its own private terrace. The suite includes two dressing rooms, two baths, and a walk-through shower. And this wall of windows allows you to take in the incredible view. And speaking of view, let's head back outside. 
Outside is another world with the Infinity Edge pool, an outdoor terrace that walks out from the lower level, all with a view of the orchard with peach, apples, and pear trees. Our tour wouldn't be complete without a closer look at the lake. From this dock, you can boat, fish, swim, kayak, even ice skate in the winter, a true year-round paradise. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If private lakeside living is your dream, this could be your home. Still ahead on Open House. We're inside an amazing beach house in Watermill. And if you ever wanted to own a chain of islands, now's your chance. You've heard of your own private guest cottage. Well, how about your own private guest island? We're taking you on a tour of Thimble Islands off the coast of Connecticut. We'll see you after the break. Open House is sponsored in part by Coldwell Banker, the real estate company with real advantages. Find your home today at coldwellbanker.com. You're watching Open House. Now, I love California, of course, but there's also a special place in my heart for the Hamptons. I have my store there, Kyle by Aileen too, and whenever I'm in the area, I try to sneak in time to check out some of the amazing homes. This next home in Watermill has one of the most spectacular views you will ever see. This modern beach house is perched high upon the dunes. It's chic, modern, stylish, yet serene. In a word, it's kind of perfect. Hi, I'm Tim Davis. I'm here with my son, Jonathan. And we're here from the Corkin Group. Welcome to 1320 Flying Point Road. This home is located where the Atlantic Ocean meets Meacox Bay, a very special and scenic location. And when you think of the Hamptons, you think of a place to get away from your everyday busy schedule, a place where you can enjoy your family and friends, and this is the ultimate Hamptons retreat. There's so much to see inside, so let's get started. This home is all about the open floor plan and water views, and this is exactly what greets you when you walk in the front door. In fact, if you look around, you have the sweeping view of Meacox Bay and the Atlantic Ocean beyond. It reminds you that despite its loft-like interiors, you are living in the heart of the Hamptons. The interiors of this home were designed by world-renowned designer Jacques Grange, and some of his best work is seen right here in this living room. In features such as the 11-foot ceilings, you have a gas fireplace, and a wall of glass to help you really capture these spectacular water views. After dinner, what a perfect place to end the day in the media room, which opens out onto the covered terrace and outdoor fireplace. It's a great place to watch a movie, to read a book, or have a glass of wine. Now this leads us to the best part of the entire house, the outdoor terrace. It really captures what the Hamptons are all about soaking up some rays on the lounge chair, or jumping in the infinity pool for a nice swim, or even having a cocktail party for family and friends. This is the place to be in the Hamptons. As we overlook the white sand beaches and miles of pristine coastline, this is the perfect place to say goodbye. Thank you for joining us today and the tour of this magnificent home, which captures the essence of seaside living. Now that's how you do seaside living. I could wake up to those views every morning. Up next, we're taking you on an all access tour to an incredible place known as Thimble Islands. We'll be right back. You're watching Open House. I'm Kyle Richards and for Sarah Gore. Now we're giving you a rare look at Thimble Islands, a chain of over 300 tiny islands right off the Connecticut coastline. Eight of the islands are for sale as one amazing estate. We're setting out to sail for a closer look. Hi, I'm Shelley Treader-Lynch, 
Senior Global Advisor of Sotheby's International Realty in Greenwich, Connecticut. Welcome to the Thimble Islands. The Thimble Islands are situated just off the Connecticut coast of Brantford. Seven privately held islands that even include this Victorian manor right here on the mainland. So many surprises await and I'm excited to show you around. Hey Shelly, we're all set, hop aboard. Captain's calling, all aboard. Let's go sunning, it's so good for you. Let's go sunning, neath the sky of blue. The first island that we will see is the storied Rogers Island. Let's head ashore. One of the distinguishing features of the Thimble Islands, and in particular Rogers Island, is that it's situated on a bedrock of pink granite which is also the very material from which all the walkways, piers, and terraces were chiseled. And as you approach along these walkways, a magical Tudor-style manor home reveals itself from behind the specimen plantings. Just a few steps in and you realize this place is like no other. With its colors and shapes and dreamlike decor, this home is filled with whimsy. It's a true breath of fresh air. This is the great room, and I think you'll agree, this is designed for a celebration. Streaming with natural light and bursting with color, you can't help but feel happy here. It has a huge fireplace for those winter nights, and for those summer days, access to the terrace through these beautiful French doors. Now you must already know that color is one of the stories of this home. And as we continue, you will notice that each room plays with color in its own unique way. This is actually my favorite room in the entire house. It's sophisticated yet playful. Surprises everywhere delight the eye. It's the kind of formal dining room that you actually want to use. Every time I come into this kitchen, I feel surprised and uplifted. Pinks and oranges, whites and blues swirl together over the wide plank pine floors. Yet it's a true chef's kitchen with all the best appliances. This is the place not only to cook and eat, this is the place to be. Upstairs, there are 10 bedrooms, each with their own style and, of course, their own color scheme. But the master suite is truly something else. Private, quiet, and luxurious, and it manages to be both chic and cheerful at the same time. But on top of it all, it has inspiring views of the grounds, the pool, and beyond which can be enjoyed from the walls of windows or the private balcony. Can you imagine waking up to this every morning? It's paradise. But as glorious as it is, you cannot stand here for very long without wanting to go down and take a closer look. So you head on down there, I'll grab the rosé, and I'll meet you outside. I could definitely get used to those views. And as if that stylish main house wasn't enough, there's actually much more to see, including the other islands. So stick around for a closer look at Thimble Islands. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we return to Connecticut's Thimble Islands to view the grounds of the main house on Rogers Island and a little tour of the rest of the property. This includes seven other islands you can call your own. Now out here, the almost eight acres of world-class natural beauty would almost be unbelievable if it weren't so real. It has everything you could possibly imagine and more. I mean, this pool would be right at home in any resort. 
Isn't this the perfect place for a glass of rosé? I think so. For the sun and swim worshipers, it even has three private beaches. And for the sports enthusiasts, there's a tennis court and a putting green designed by the legendary Jack Nicholas. You think that's it? Not by a long shot. Step back in time in this amazing parterre and rose garden. And for the winter gardeners, there's a commercial grade greenhouse. The island is made for exploring and discovering its many wonders. Well, as much as I love it here, there is so much more to explore. Let's head back out to sea and check it out. We're now headed to Cuttentu Island. What distinguishes these islands is the bridge that connects them. Let's go on and take a closer look. You've heard of your own private guest cottage. Well, how about your own private guest island? And if the party gets a little bit too raucous on Rogers Island, sneak out over here and appreciate just how quiet it actually is. We're now headed to Wheeler's Island, which has one of the most photographed houses in all of the archipelago. But really, every one of these islands is beautiful in its own way. I love the lush landscaping on Wheeler's Island. It's not what you would expect. Isn't this three-story porch spectacular? It's absolutely beautiful, and it's one of my favorite places. You can sit here and sip your glass of lemonade soaking in the summer sun. From the boat, you would never realize how private this island actually is. This property is a vibrant reminder of the magic, mystery, and beauty of island living, where every day is filled with discovery and inspiration. It has been such a pleasure showing you around this truly idyllic spot. There's still more ahead on Open House. Up next, a Malibu marvel with spectacular views. Have you ever wanted it all? Ocean views, swimming pool, tennis court, 17,000 square foot of what I can only call resort living. We're wrapping things up here on the West Coast in Malibu at a home nestled on lush landscape with breathtaking views of the ocean and city. This home is perfect for someone looking to create the ultimate compound. My good friend David Parnes from Bravo's Million Dollar Listing in Los Angeles takes us on a tour. Have you ever wanted it all? My name is David Parnes. I am standing in the heart of Malibu. Ocean views, swimming pool, tennis court, 17,000 square foot of what I can only call resort living. Let's check it out. Built in the 1980s, this house has so many European influences, and I'm not talking about myself. It has eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms. In fact, it's like standing in Capri. The best part, however, is when we walk through this front door, we are greeted with our own tropical paradise. And here we are in the dining area, full of life, natural light, French doors on both sides, this room is perfect for entertaining. I love the marble, the antiques, the art, it brings so much personality into this house. Here we are in the screening room. This is ideal for holding those intimate popcorn nights with your guests, with your family. It has a beautiful koi pond just outside. And who would have thought, your own smoking room that is absolutely genius. So the boys can go and have a cigar after the movie. 
I love the fact that this is an automated screen and you can watch the Super Bowl. I can watch Wimbledon. And the party continues in this bright, airy, not forgetting, fun, beautiful sitting room with its own baby grand piano. It has a bar clad with beautiful white marble which matches the fireplace. This is just a really fun room. You can socialize here, you can bring guests up for it for a cocktail. This house has so many different aspects to it, which is what I love. And guess what? The best part awaits us. Follow me right outside. I was never gonna let you guys down. Check out that view right behind me. It is sensational, it's endless. This is the ocean, it's beautiful. With your own infinity edge pool, fountains, the calming sound of water, your private tennis court, and of course your gym overlooking an equally incredible view. This house, I might buy it myself. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed our look at Waterside Living. I've had a great time stepping in for Sarah Gore. I'll see you back on Bravo's The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and Open House will be back next week with more beautiful homes. And if you want to check out any of the homes featured on today's show again, all you have to do is head to openhousetv.com or follow the show on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. That's Open House TV. Thanks so much for watching.